We're going to take a look at some simple soloing techniques. We're going to use the same concept of chord tones and resolving um, from a fifth away to the uh, another chord tone um, or target note. And we're just going to move those from the open E minor pentatonic slash blues scale and uh, position one right in the open position and we're going to move it to the second position and the third position um, if you want information on how to play those i had just posted a video on those three positions and how they interconnect and some kind of real basic rough ideas of um how to visualize soloing on the upper strings, some kind of common things. I'll, I'll probably go over those again in this video because I'll be using them. So let's look at some common devices that are used for these um, three positions. We talked in our last lesson about using chord tones and we're, that's what we're gonna focus on again in this lesson that's the device we're gonna kind of stick with is using chord tones um, we may sneak a flat five in there for some flavor um, but for really what I want to show you the super easy um, to play super easy to see and visualize and remember uh, soloing options um, all come from chord tones so they're, they're fantastic because you can play all sorts of stuff with them and you're always going to be right because they're all chord tones. So let's begin with the uh, open E and we have, we're just going to look at the top two strings. We have the fifth on the B string. We have the minor seventh on the third fret of the B string. We have the root on the E string, and we have the minor third on the third fret. Now we can play any combination of those notes. Um, notes like to resolve up a fifth or, or down a fifth. Um, well, up, it can be the same. So here's E, that's our root note, right? And then the fifth of E is B, right here below it. So that fifth wants to resolve to the note right above it. And this seventh is the fifth of this three. You hear that resolution on both of them sounds the same. And that's all the way up the neck. That's down here. So anytime you know you're moving up a fourth, you're actually moving from a fifth up to a root. Okay, just trust me, it works out. Um, so focusing on our first chord, the E, we can play any of these notes. It's always good to kind of start with the E, start with your your root, so the audience gets a. Uh, a, a grasp of what the key is going to be. Um, just give that to them. You, know, you don't have to be super fancy right out of the gate. Just give them the root note. Okay, Establish the key and then go from there. So uh, if I were going to start you know, a solo in this kind of open position, I would probably you know, I'd start with my E. And right there I just went root Minor seven, fifth, seven. Put a little vibrato on it to give it some vocal quality. Uh, root three, root seven. We're moving away from the root, creating tension. Root three, seven, five. Now that really wants to resolve, so I'm going to give it to him. It's 
It just resolves. It just, it just wants to resolve. So, because that was the five to the, the one of the, the chord. So, you could get away in playing over a 12 bar blues with just the E minor pentatonic uh, or E blues scale. And you could pretty much pick any notes out of the scale. And as long as you're doing a decent job of resolving, you know, listening and resolving within the scale, you can get away with it, uh, with just playing E when the chord goes to A. You can still jam on E and the, the chord goes up to the B7. You're still jamming on E, it goes down to the A. You're still jamming on E. You can make it work. But if you want your playing to sound more purposeful and you want to sound like you're you're hip and you know what you're doing and you're you know you're really making music and not just winging it then you want to go up to the chord tones when the harmony shifts to a new chord so we're in E7 and we're you know we're playing our four notes up to the four chord, the A chord. Well, if this is the minor third, then this is the perfect fourth. Just slide up a whole step, and there's our A. Now we're going to look at this chord a little bit differently than our E chord. Our E chord was five, minor seven, root, Three. We're going to look at this chord kind of going backwards. So here's our root. There's the minor seventh below it. And then that's the fifth. So you just focus on those, you know, three chord tones. And you've got, you know, you're, you're enough to solo off of. The song's gonna go back down to the one, so we can come back down here. Then it's gonna go up to the five. So if this was our four, we're gonna go up to the five. Here's the seventh fret, That's, there's our B. And here's the B chord, the B7. All right, and there's our B. And we're going to do exactly the same way as we did with the four chord. Here's the root. There's the minor seventh. And there's the fifth. If you want to, you can just jump up with your first finger too, and there's your minor third. And now you have the same pattern as we did with the E. I'm not lost. See, same pattern. Fifth, minor seventh root, minor third. Come up to my fifth fret. Fifth, minor seventh root, minor third. Go up to the seventh fret. Fifth. Minor seventh, root, minor third. So you can play it that way. Or you can shift down. It kind of just depends on what you want to emphasize, where you want to bend, you know, because you can bend and get some vibrato with your first finger, but you can really bend with your third finger. So just, you know, again, options. Oh, I'm gonna show you something else. It's called the, the house shape. 
when we come up to our four in this second position, right? We can also come down and then that note right there creates the little pitched roof on this house. It makes like a little house visually. There's the top of the roof. And there's the walls. To step down from here, you can do a couple of things, you know. Shift. Or you can target that flat five. Like that. that flat five is there, right? We go up to the four. I'm just gonna outline a 12 bar blues, real simple. Not a quick change blues, just, you know, the one where the, the one goes for four bars at first. And I'm just gonna use the, the simple motif of five minor seven, root minor third and then we're going to go up to the, the four and play with our first finger five minor seven root minor third and do the same thing on the five chord five minor seven root minor third remembering that right the seven wants to resolve to the three above it. And the five really wants to resolve to the one. Okay? So using those two simple, that simple technique and that simple concept, I'm gonna try to build a solo. Okay? Just I'm just winging it and improvising as I go. So sorry if there's any bum notes. at the uh, going down, the kind of descending pattern that we were talking about with the chords, where we played root, minor seventh, fifth. So I'm going to play a little bit and I'm going to mix between the two. I'm going to start off with that one, the descending one, and then the next time around I'll shift into the uh, the one that's played on the, the first finger, the 5-7 root 3 shape. So let's, at least that's the theory. Let's see what happens.
So let's move beyond the two strings and let's add the G string below it. So we're gonna be adding our little house, roof of our house. And we can also walk that down. And then we're gonna slide up here to the five. And that goes Okay, so let's try to solo a little bit using three strings. Right, let's give it a shot. So those are some basic ideas centered around the first three positions of the um, E minor pentatonic and blues scale. Hope they help you out.